Following Queen Elizabeth's death, a debate over one of the world's most famous gems, a part of the British crown jewels, is gaining new ground in India. But wait, what is the connection between crown jewels and India here? It's about the Kohinoor diamond, one of the largest cut diamonds in the world, believed to have been mined in India thousands of years ago. The 105 carat rock is set in the Queen's crown. Now people online are demanding for it to be returned, saying that it was stolen by the British Empire. The history of this rare gem goes back to at least the 16th century when it changed hands between the Persian, the Afghan, the Mughal and then the Sikh rulers as part of the spoils of wars. And it was ceded to Britain's Queen Victoria in 1849 by the king of the Sikh dynasty when he was forced to surrender his lands and possessions. According to the historic Royal Palace's website, a young Sikh Maharaja in India surrendered the Kohinoor to the East India Company in the 19th century. Over the years, critics have questioned Britain's claim to the gem. I'm not sure any historian who's actually looked at the documents would ever say that the British were gifted this diamond. It's part of the Treaty of Lahore. Uh, in 1849, Dulip Singh uh, was forced to hand it over, uh, having been defeated uh, at the end of the Sikh Wars. Following Queen Elizabeth II's death last Thursday, some Indians have renewed calls for Britain to return the prized gem. See, ideally the diamond should have come back to India a long time ago. For many, the jewel is a painful reminder of India's colonial past and they want it back. India has reportedly demanded the Kohinoor back on multiple occasions. David Cameron, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, rejected the calls for the return twice, saying that if they meet all such demands, eventually the British Museum will be empty. Many Indians see the Kohinoor studded crown as a symbol of the plunder and imperialism of the British Empire and believe that it should be returned as atonement for its bloody history in the country. But right now, it seems likely that the diamond will stay put. What do you think? Should the British monarchy return the Kohinoor diamond to India? What most matters to Indians is it used to be ours. And it's one more thing that used to be ours that the British have now purloined as a result of their conquest and rule of our country. Britain has repeatedly rejected India's claims on the Kohinoor. Over the years, it has made its intention to keep the gem clear. If you say yes to one, you suddenly find the British Museum would be emptied. <laughs> right. um, and I know there's also a great argument about the original provenance of the Kohinoor diamond. Uh, and so I think, uh, so this I think I'm afraid major... <laughs> to say, uh, to disappoint all of you, I'm afraid it's going to have to stay put. According to some historians, there is no legal ground for restitution. But on moral grounds, they say India does make a strong case. The very fact that an Indian artifact is sitting in the Tower of London in the Queen Mother's tiara, a place where it emphatically does not belong, is a reminder of how it got there. And I think in, in a sense, it's, it's literally a criminal advertising the proceeds of his crime. With the new monarch and government, it remains to be seen whether Britain will seek to make amends for its colonial past.